All right, guys, so the next thing we want to do is we want to start kind of contouring and bringing out colors that need brought out, darkening areas, lightening areas, to help manipulate our photo a little more. Before we do that, though, we need to make copies of our face and our neck right here for both of them because what we're going to do is permanent and we want to have some backups. So your face here, I'm going to do a Command J and I'm going to name that copy as, I'm going to name it hair because that was the layer that has the hair on it. I could even name it hair liquify and I'm just going to drag it down here for safekeeping. Same thing with my neck. I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm just going to drag that neck copy down there too. So all these are just things I'm squirreling away because I don't need them, but I might in the future. So here on my neck, I'm going to use some new tools. So over here underneath your smudge tool that we were just in is dodge and burn. Dodge is like a highlighter. It brings out the color white. It, it makes things lighter. Burn makes things darker. Now that just doesn't apply the color black. It just darkens whatever colors already exist there. So you can go too far with burn. So use burn very sparingly because of our skin tones. It's potentially going to make our skin look like we have a rash and we don't want that. We just want to kind of bring out some different shadows. So let's start with burn. Burn does use brush shapes, so go get yourself a fuzzy brush. And then double check up here next to your brush shapes. Make sure your exposure is a slider that's up there. You can manipulate that. And you just get either a stronger or a looser reaction. So mine, by default, I believe, was set to 50. I just cranked it up to 100 earlier. So you can kind of play with what you're getting there. I'm going to leave mine at 50 again. So what we have here is some neck muscles. We've got kind of a shadow coming here. We've got another shadow coming down there. We've got a little collarbone. I'm just going to help bring those out. So I'm going to run my fuzzy brush on burn just down that neck. And it just kind of helps bring out the shadow of that muscle. The same thing over here, but again, I'm going to use it sparingly because I can get too crazy with it and it's going to make my skin look torched. Maybe try to bring in a little bit of my collarbone. Nothing too crazy though. Dodge does the exact opposite. It brings out the lighter tones of skin. So again, it works with brushes and we've got exposure that we can play with. So I'm just gonna come back in on the opposite side of that muscle that I just brought darker colors into, I just burned, and I'm just gonna kind of help maybe lighten down some of those muscles of my neck, where I would like for it to be a little less dark. So that just kind of brings out some shading in my neck. On your face though, we've got some other things that we can mess with. So make sure you are on your face layer. And dodge, which again makes lighter things lighter, we can use on our eyes. So I'm gonna shrink this down so I have a little more control over it. And I can come in here and I can use dodge just to kind of bring out more of the white of my eyes. So I'm not touching over here on this green eye that we worked on earlier. I'm just working around in here where I've potentially got, oh, you know, like some blood vessels poking out or maybe my character is sick so their eyes are kind of yellow. And that's just going to help brighten that white. You can already see a difference between the two. Over here to the other eye, I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to dodge, not dodge balls. We're going to dodge the white of this eye just to make it a little more vibrant, make it pop a little more off my skin. Bam! Now, opposite of that, we can go back to burn. And on this particular character, he's got these awesome freckles. So with a fuzzy brush, I can come in here and control the size of my paintbrush 
to be about freckle size. And I can come in here and I can darken. I can start burning his freckles and I'm just touching them just a little bit. And that's going to make them stronger. And it's gonna help that color pop off of his face and be more prominent. And then that's gonna make his freckles even more a part of this picture. Now he does have a lot of freckles, so I'm not like doing any in like any particular rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of randomly moving around my page. And that would take forever. I'm not gonna sit there and do that in this video over and over and over again. You can also use it on the eyes. I can make my little guy smaller here, and I can just come and kind of paint down this eyeball excuse me, eyelash, and I can help kind of darken those and bring them more into view. So you can see those eyelashes that I'm just kind of stroking across do get a little darker. So if they got kind of lost in translation when you were masking earlier, you can help them stand back out. This kid has fantastic eyelashes, they're so long. My eyelashes were that long. Looks like he has mascara on, but he doesn't. So again, I'm not going to bore you going in there and getting all of those little pieces. Now the other portions of our face, we can potentially contour with some burning. So right here along his cheekbones, he's already got some shadowing, but if I wanted to, I could just do a little swoop little swoop right there underneath his cheekbones, not on top, but underneath. And kind of come back in here along his temple, maybe darken him up a little bit. Come in here where his eyes kind of touch the bridge of the nose. That'll help it look a little skinnier. You can even kind of come in here along his chin. All of those are great places to add some contour to her face, just like makeup. Right, ladies? Dodge, I can do the same thing. I can come back in here and highlight some areas. Now he is pretty washed out already on his forehead, but if I wanted just to kind of lighten any areas along his cheeks, I could. If his forehead wasn't so bright, I could do it there. Get the tip of his chin, his nose, all great places to kind of bring some light back into the photo. All right, guys, so looking at that, that looks kind of like a uh, finished character there. Be sure and save this, and you're just going to kind of keep repeating all of these steps for yourself and for your teachers that you went and take pictures of. So enjoy. This will be fun, and I hope you had as much fun making this as I did.